we got the early scoop on a few Bourbon County variants. Hey, aficionados, Sean here, and today we have our first 2020 Bourbon County variant. That's right, Bourbon County is back. It is that time of the year again, which means 2020 is almost over. Although, I don't know how good 2021 is going to be, but at least for now, 2020 has brought us some good, well, hopefully good, Bourbon County. This one is their special number four stout. It's an oatmeal stout that has been aged in bourbon barrels with coffee and maple syrup added it is 13.3% ABV, and the maple syrup is actually a bourbon barrel aged maple syrup that they're using in this one from Bissell Maple Farm, and the coffee is from Intelligentsia, once again, which I think they've used for quite a few years now. They say that it has notes of mocha, roasted nuts, sweet maple, and a touch of blueberry. It sounds really good. I'm excited. Cannot wait to jump back into some bourbon county. Also, before I even get into the aroma, I do want to mention, I think it's kind of interesting that in the same year you have Goose Island and Founders essentially putting out very similar beers in like a maple coffee barrel aged imperial stout and I already reviewed the the maple Mackinac fudge which I really really loved so probably going to have a hard time not comparing this with that so let's dig into the aroma now mm. yeah that smells like bourbon county you're getting this this nice dark fruity kind of sweetness the sweet bourbony notes Vanilla, like a, like a, almost like a brown sugary or like a, you know what it is? It's like a Tootsie Pop kind of like sweetness, maybe like a, like blueberry. Like I'm getting that blueberry note, like a blueberry Tootsie Pop if that was a thing. Or maybe like, you know, like the purple, I think it's grape. But more so like a, yeah, like a blueberry Tootsie Pop. So I'm getting that touch of blueberry that they're mentioning. You're definitely getting the maple sweetness on there too. A little bit of maple sweetness. Again, brown sugar. Toffee. That's the note that I'm looking for. Toffee, caramel notes, chocolate notes, like cocoa. A little bit fudgy. Definitely a little bit roasty. Chocolate, roast. Tootsie Pops, blueberry. Some dark fruits. Molasses, maybe a little bit. Maple. Let's get the taste. Cheers. Wow. So definitely getting that blueberry on the taste too. It's like maple, blueberry Tootsie Pop, fudge, chocolate, a little bit of roast that really picks up towards the finish. It's got a little bit of that like um, slight pepper skin kind of thing, but just a little bit like a more like a roast kind of char, I guess, a little bit on the finish. Solid, solid coffee roast though. A little bit of like an espresso kind of thing in the mid palate that picks up to the finish. Up front, you're really getting hit with that sort of blueberry, dark fruity, Tootsie Pop kind of sweetness. A little bit of the toffee, uh, the caramel kind of notes, the maple. And then it transitions into more of those dark notes, the roast, the chocolatey notes, like a nice like cocoa, like dark chocolatey kind of thing. A little bit of like a, like a sweeter kind of chocolate on the entry and then it transitions into more of like a bitter kind of chocolate on the finish with the roast. It doesn't hit you over the head with the bourbon character, but it's there. Especially up front, you get a little bit of that like bourbony sweetness, bourbony, like bourbon barrel aged maple syrup on the entry. Nice booziness to this one. A little bit of a warming going down, but you don't taste the alcohol at all. Nice mouthfeel to this one. Definitely full bodied. It's got a chewiness to it. It's got like a, you know, like a thickness to it. Definitely a couple C's thick. And just a little bit of carbonation. Again, it finishes up with chocolatey notes for days, roast for days, a little bit of char, oak even, roastiness. 
like a little bit even like slightly like smoky but like lots of char and roast and dark flavors in the finish. Let's get into the ratings. All right, so my final thoughts on Bourbon County brand special stout number four. Bourbon County special number four stout. Not sure what happened to three or two or one. Maybe they released those as more of a limited release this year. Did they release them in the past? I actually don't know. Or maybe this is like, like an experimental series that they're trying out and like they settled on the fourth one because like three, two, and one weren't as good. I don't know. Hmm. Probably should have researched that before I did this, but okay. Anyways, uh, this one's going to get an A plus for me. It is a Bourbon County coffee variant. It's really nice to see them doing another coffee stout variant. Um, did they do a coffee stout variant last year? They might have. I think, I know they did like bring it back one year. It might've been last year, but either way, it's good to see them continuing to put out another coffee stout variant because I liked it more than the coffee barley wine that they did that one year. Really good stuff. Uh, I like the complexity that the maple adds. I will say though, it's it's hard for me not to compare it to the maple Mackinac fudge from KBS, and I think the maple Mackinac fudge actually edges this one out a little bit. They're both excellent beers. They're both they both could make my best of the year list at the end of twenty twenty. But in terms of like, you know, this sort of head to head thing that I was doing in my head as I was tasting it, just the the chocolate that's added to the KBS. Just gives it like another level of like complexity and richness and flavor. That's, I don't want to say it's like missing from this because there are definitely chocolatey notes in this one, but there's just a lot more going on in that KBS version, I think, actually. But you, you do get a little bit more of the barrel and a little bit more like the boozy kind of bourbony sweetness in this one. And you're getting the coffee a lot more in this one too. Um, so it, it's probably more of like a taste preference. I'd say that I think KBS is a little bit better than Mackinac Fudge. But either way, again, they're both excellent. And it would make a really fun head-to-head -head tasting if you're able to get your hands on both. But, I mean, this is this is Bourbon County coffee. Like, if you like coffee, if you like Bourbon County, you're going to want to seek this one out this year. So hopefully you guys can get your hands on it like I did, and hopefully you guys enjoy it like I did. Were any of you able to get your hands on Bourbon County special brand number four stout? I keep saying all that out of order, but... Whatever. You know what I'm saying. Were you able to get it? Do you like it? What do you think of it? Let me know in the comments below how you think it compares to the Mackinac Fudge from K the KBS Mackinac Fudge. Words are hard. Until next time. Thanks for watching.